guys, welcome back to another episode of Construction Simulator 2015 with me, Brad M73. How you doing guys? Um, I've actually been kind of overwhelmed at the popularity uh, of this series. My videos have been doing very well and I wanted to thank you guys for that. Uh, you guys that are liking and sharing, um, it's really kind of caused my videos to do very, very well. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. And I wanted to do some more construction simulator for you guys. And I actually had been thinking about it all week. And, of course, Seven Days to Die had to update again. And so, <laughs> so I was doing that game. So uh, let's get started. we got to pick a job, I think. And let's pick a big expensive one. House extension, Smith family. Oh, my God. we got a ton of stuff to do. Um, all right. Uh that's 83,000. Uh, whoops. Special jobs. Let's see here. Modern house. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's go ahead and do this bit, this bad boy, because this will probably take us a while. Um, one, when I get this, this uh, house done, I am then, let's see, three drain pipes from Materials Trader, okay. When I get this job done, I am then going to, hello, where's the map telling us to go? It says... Yeah, but don't, wait a second, get three drain pipes from, yeah, why is it telling us to go to the work site? That's weird. Um, what was I just going to do? Um, oh, I, I was going to say something else, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the stages, and if I get a stage where... Uh, we're going to save a ton of time by actually uh, hiring a worker. I'm going to do that because, um, you know, it's in the uh, interest of saving time. Um, there was a patch that was released for the game. I think it was either yesterday or today. Uh, I, matter of fact, I didn't even look what version. <laughs> what ver How's that for being prepared? I'm never prepared. I just jump in the games. I'm like, I'm going to play them, and you guys... Hopefully watch them and enjoy them and uh, have fun. And that's that's what it's all about. Uh, the screen, the uh, the frames per second is still not great. Um, but, you know, I guess it could be worse. All right, so I'm going to pull up here. You guys are going to probably jump on me for using the forklift again, but... It's faster than using the crane, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, and then what was the other thing I was gonna say? Uh, I don't remember what I was gonna say. Okay, we need pipes, right? Need three. Um, oh yeah, when once I get this mission done, so it'll probably be the next episode. Um, I am going to uh, actually do. Uh, or actually buy a new, you know, some piece of new equipment. We're going to see. Um, oh, yeah, I have to get the rental vehicles, forklift, yes, please. All right. So we'll jump up in here, up in here, up in here. I'm going to jump up in here. Whoa. But uh, So, yeah, uh, there was a new patch that, that got released either earlier today or yesterday, and um, it doesn't really seem to be affecting the frame rate all that much. Um, oh, that's the view I wanted. I'm like, where did my view go? This is not good. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Let's lift up. No, 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 no. It's doing the same thing as it was doing before. Doing the same thing as before. At least, okay. I mean, I still haven't fixed that. Okay, well, that stinks. Um, maybe in this situation the crane might be, might be better. I don't know. The frame rate is 
you know, not still not good. Um, and I am running everything on the maximum settings, but uh, I was kind of hoping that there would be some performance increases. Uh, there we go. And okay, cargo fastened. Hello. All right, get those up there. See, I feel like I'm in a slideshow right now. It's got to be down below, you know, definitely below 20 frames a second, maybe below 15. Unfortunately, I'm, I don't have fraps up or anything to really, uh, you know, tell me what the frame rate's like. There we go. That one was much better. <clears throat> I still really like in this game, though. I mean, a lot of people, I get, I get a lot of messages, you know, from people like, "Hey, do you do you like the game?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's fun." It, it, you know, I said this before in some of my other videos. It is kind of like a, you know, deliver stuff and drop stuff off simulator because, you know, you're not actually pounding nails and that kind of thing. But um, it's fun. It, the graphics are good on it, you know, you know, relatively good at least. Um, I really like the environment. You know, the city is very, uh, very nice. I re it really has a good European feel to it in my opinion as an American having actually been to Germany several times uh, it really does remind me of uh, being back in uh, Germany and so um, yeah so I don't know if this uh, <clears throat> if this city was kind of uh, based on some some other you know like a realistic German city but uh, but it definitely has that feel so so yeah, I haven't actually played this game since like last weekend, I think. Um, you know, farming sim got updated with the 1.2 patch. Then uh, you know they've been almost been doing weekly updates for Seven Days to Die now. So it's like, uh, am I gonna have to start doing you know videos for Seven Days now? We shall see. Um, I don't want to go out that way. Let's see. Can I make the turn? Can I? No, I cannot. That's cool how, like, all four front wheels turn. I think... I think it's neat. Shut up, guys. I think it's cool. It's really sweet, guys. Okay, so we have to drop off drainage tile. Please... <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me while <laughs> while I lose my voice. <coughs> oh man, <laughs> I was I was telling some some people about uh, kind of a hilarious fast uh, fast past a hilarious past experience of mine, and uh, I was kind of using those throat muscles to you know I like to you know, talk and impersonate people and whatever. And so anyways, I was doing this scream. I was like, ah, but I'm not going to do it. Cause I don't want to like destroy my voice box again. And so I'm paying for it now. <laughs> I'm like talking and I'm like, I can't talk. Uh, silence, silence. It's the, you know, the sure way to uh, retain, uh, viewers like you guys. <clears throat> Wait, did that sh did that truck in front of me just like warp down the road while I wasn't paying attention? See, I'm a rebel. I'm not even gonna stop for the red light. Wozers. Okay, we got a green green light. And up oh, here, we're coming up to the work site. <clears throat> oh, 
But yeah, I I, uh, I I I do like this game. I actually like it a lot. I, I look forward to playing it. It's like I wish there were more hours in the day to actually play it because I really enjoy it so much. Uh, okay, and let's see if I remember how to put out the outriggers. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and jump out, and we'll put the, uh, we'll detach the cargo. There we go. I don't want to fall. You can't actually fall in these holes. I'm in the hole. And hopefully I can get out, yeah. <laughs> Phew. Okay, let's tab back to this bad boy. Whoa. Um, oh, I went too far, didn't I? I always go too far. Took it too far. Just going to push it out a little bit. There we go. Oh, I guess I probably, <laughs> probably shouldn't drop uh, clay pipes like that. These were clay, I think. I think they were clay. I'm not so sure now. Okay. But yeah, I, I am actually having fun with this game. Um, I wouldn't play it if I didn't enjoy it. Because playing stump, something you don't enjoy sucks. I'm just going to say. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's done. All right. Oh, they put the dirt in. Okay, so now we got to get four... Oh, let's hit the backspace and back, no, backspace. There we go. All right, so now we have to get four large brick, bricks and concrete bags. So let's, I'll kind of show you how we can go to the materials dealer here in the city. So it's going to cost us $148 to go there, and we can just instantly teleport. Um, so that there you can kind of see how some of the quick travel works. Now you can reset to the base, and we're not very far away from the base because it's right over to the left there, kind of beyond those trees. Um, but uh, yeah. All right, so let's drop this. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> okay, so lar four large bricks, two concrete bags. Okay. And concrete bags. Bam. We are going to have some money. And I, oh gosh, I just remembered now. Um, I'm really nervous about these things not working properly now. Oh gosh, oh gosh. See, I should be able to... No. Okay, cargo fastened. It's a little bit off, so we're going to kind of... Actually, I'm going to put this on the other side. That way... That way it'll be easier for me to maneuver in here. Put it down kind of like this. And I want to push it up closer to the front. There we go. OK. 
Can I get it? There we go. And pull it out. Yeah, oh yeah, we pulled it out. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> All right. Now the frame rate seems a little bit better. Well, then I, maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. It does seem a little bit better, though. Let's see here if I can. Oh, there we go. Cargo fastened right off the bat that time. Awesome. Why do they have to make it so hard for me and put all the cargo on the, the top rail? It's not really that hard, I don't guess. Okay, turbo boost. See, I'm getting pretty good at this, aren't I? I'll say so. <clears throat> no. Okay, I lied. I'm not getting good at this at all. Um, <laughs> yeah, in the real world, this cargo would totally not be fastened right now. Totally not. All right, so let's put this towards the back. All right, and ah, we get the last one. How many? Let's see. How far are we done with this job? Active jobs, house extension, stage two. Oh, that's not really too bad. Stage three is <clears throat> the same thing. Large bricks. One concrete bag, one insulation, and stage four. Oh, this will be fun. Okay, what I might actually do is I might actually hire a worker for this next stage so that we can move on to more of the fun stuff. Now, do you remember that uh, if I hire a worker, I don't get the experience points, though, for that stage. You do get experience for the job. You just don't get the experience for the stage. All right, let's see here. I'm going to try not to push it back too far. Okay, there we go. All right. And right now, I kind of want the experience, though. That's the problem. Okay, whoops. Okay. Whoa, frame rate. Whoops. Yeah, all right. Euro pallet. I love how they they're like they they call it a Euro pallet, and it's like, guys, it's the same in the United States pallet. So you could call it the United United States o pallet. <laughs> now I do remember seeing like they have like these crazy plastic pallets that are like injected mold, injection molded. And they're pretty cool looking. Like if you if you flip them up on the bottom, you know they look like, you know, walls from like the Starship Enterprise or something. And and I I, <clears throat> I remember seeing one one time. Or actually, I saw a bunch of them one time laying out somewhere. And I just saw them and I was like, man, if I was a kid, 
that would be like I would totally want some of those in my backyard or my basement so I could like build my little starship or something use my imagination I don't think kid you know well I, I mean I could be wrong and and I don't want to lump everybody into the same category but I think a lot of kids these days spend more time you know playing Xboxes well even me I mean psh, I spend a lot of time playing video games and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with playing video games uh, it definitely teaches a lot of uh, logic and things like that but you know it's also fun to actually get out and uh, and work on real you know real things too um, and uh, and I can remember like you know building tree forts with my friends and you know doing stuff like that when I was a kid and um, and that was just good memory good times good times Part of the oh brother, I didn't do it right. Whoa. Okay. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so let's drive this out. And drop this stuff off. And I'm still kind of like waffling back and forth as to whether or not I want to do the next stage. Or hire somebody to do it. Because we're going to have kind of a cool stage. Because we have to actually go and get spruce. And I think we actually have to get a big spruce log. <gasps> no! See if I... Am I if I'm looking this way, the screen, frame rate's fine. If I look that way, it's not as good. All right, I'm just going to, since you guys are all, like, waiting, I'm just going to go. Yep. Thanks, guys. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Like, if, if I were to, you know, if I were to be driving down the road some, somewhere in Europe and this actually be... A, you know, a close approximation of an actual German or, you know, Austrian or Swiss, Swiss town, something like that, would not surprise me in the slightest. Do, 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 do. I mean, the driving portion of this game is pretty close to Euro Truck. Um, I don't. I don't use my rate. You know, my driving wheel for this. I don't even know if this is compatible with driving wheels. To be honest with you, I haven't even. I haven't tried it. So who knows? Go, go! I say. Oh, I can see the uh, construction site up there in the back. Oh, come on. All right. I'm not slowing down for you. <laughs> All right, so here we are at our half house. So you could probably kind of tell right there when I took that that turn, the frame rate kind of dropped off. I don't I don't really notice it as much. Well, you know, I am recording, so, I mean, that's obviously going to be some of it. But uh, I honestly don't don't notice it when I'm playing single-player nearly as much. I still do notice it, but uh, just not, not quite as much. Okay. Uh. Okay. All right, so we got to offload everything right here next to the truck again. This uh, this little uh, crane is quite fun to use, I must say.
new contracts are available. Yeah, I thought about getting like the rolling machine because um, I've heard that there's some pretty cool contracts available for that. It's, a, it's basically like a steamroller. That's all it is. Uh, but yeah, I've heard some, there's, there's some pretty sweet contracts available for that. Uh, you know, if you buy that. Basically how the game works is as you, uh, you know, if you, if you guys still haven't bought it and you're just curious, as you, you know, d get more money and you buy more equipment, it essentially unlocks uh, the different, you know, the different pieces of equipment. So, for example, if I bought, like, the large excavator for, what you know, however much it costs, um, it's going to unlock the missions for that excavator. I think there's even, like, a like a test mission, like a special mission uh, that kind of teaches you how to uh, how do you, how do you do that? Depending on how much time I burn through in, in this episode, we might take a look at that um, at the uh, you know a new piece of equipment. I am not going to promise anything just yet. We're going to have I think this job. We should have pretty close to two hundred and forty thousand minus twenty. So I'm going to because I think. I'm not exactly sure how much we're going to get charged, but we're coming up on the end of the month cycle. And um, and so we're going to have to pay our rent and everything. And I'll have to take a look and see. We can look at our finances tab here in just a second, and I'll see, you know, kind of what it's going to look like. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So that the ex the house extensions, or, the, or everything completes as soon as you get them into the block. Before you'd actually have to drive out. Let's see. Okay. So get bag from the material insulation. Okay. All that stuff. All right. So what I am going to do? Components need to be retracted. Yes, I knew that. Okay. What I'm going to do is. Let's see here. Go to jobs. Uh, oh, active jobs, actually. Oh, wait. What are. Whoa, that's cool. All right, active jobs, house extension, uh, stage three. So, right here, I don't. What does this do? Oh, restart the stage. No. Well, it wouldn't matter now, anyway. Um. Stage three, so we can click on this. You can hire a worker. You can, uh, whoops, you can have this building phase completed uh, by an worker. Okay, spelling error. This takes three minutes, 49 uh, seconds, and you cannot do anything on con the construction site during this time. The profit after subtracting the cost of the materials is 15,000. Are you sure you want a worker to complete this building phase? Sure. So that's going to give us 190,000. Um, we are going to have to wait around. Now again, you're not going to see him, you know, come rocketing in or anything like that. Um, what I am going to do, if we look at our active jobs, and I move up to stage four, uh, we're going to need a square beam, uh, and we we're going to need to get that from the construction mill. So as well as some spruce down here. So I'm going to go ahead and head on over to the construction site. And if we look here up to the top right, you can see our little worker. And that's going to progressively move across as he completes the job. And in that, in the meantime, oh my gosh, we can move on down the road to bigger and better. Oh, he could have stopped. Whoa, look at that thing. I built I built a regular house there in my single player campaign. <laughs> or my I guess this is my single player campaign too. Or wait, no, no, I take that back. It was down here somewhere. My bad, my bad. Okay, so I think the 
Watch out, Brigitte. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think of like stereotypical German names. I don't know if if Brigitte, Bridget is a German name or not. Anyway, okay, so it, yeah, you can see up there, top right, he's about halfway done. And uh, we will go and pick up the lumbar. Location discovered, all right. Please give me some money for discovering that. No. All right. Whatevs, whatevs. All right. So we are going to run up here. Talk to him. Oh, wait. I need to go into the mission. So I am going to need stage four. First, we need one square spruce beam, five meters. So, one square beam spruce, five meters. Purchase that. Next, we are going to need one, let's see, big roof tiles we can't get here, large bricks we can't get here, two lumber spruce, 0.8 millimeters. Okay. Two lumber spruce, 0.8 millimeters. Bam, bam. Purchase that. And um, let's go load this up. Oh, before I do that, well, you know what? I can probably just use the uh, the arm for this one. It's not going to be too bad. Because we're going to have to use the arm to put the, uh, the lumber up. Whoa. See, it's like whenever you're facing this direction towards the city, the frame rate goes to heck. Whenever you're looking, and, and it does that. See, like now that I'm looking that way, frame rate's perfect. All right. Okay. Should have gone the other way. That way I wouldn't have had to rotate this guy all the way around. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so there our worker got the uh, the uh, other the, se the the third stage done. So now all we need to do is get this stuff dropped off. Okay, and um, okay. Here's the other log. You know what? I think. I think the. Ah, shoot. No! <laughs> there we go. I'm going to turn around. I was going to use the arm, but I don't think I'm going to, actually. I still think that the arm is probably going to be a bit too long. All right, so. Well, it's not too long. It's just slow, you know. 
That's just the way it is. All right, so we got two of the... Oh, no, I've already got that. Um, rental vehicle, forklift, yes. How did I know it was going to spawn here? Okay. Oh, shoot. I went the wrong way. Okay. Right. Hello. Ah. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Down. All right. Get over here. I'll oh, put it in. Oh. park him over here somewhere. It's not going to bother anybody there. Bam. Bam. Alright. Put the gates up and we are off to the work site. Da -da 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 -da. Um, so we'll have to drop this off and then I think we have to go... I'll just do a fast travel back to the... Uh, man, the frame rate's really taking a hit. That's kind of sad. There, there's got to be something in this game that's not optimized, and hopefully you guys keep watching, because I feel <laughs> I feel like my computer is like a giant giant piece of junk when I'm playing this, and it's really not. I mean, it's it does a pretty darn good job, and hopefully I will be able to begin building my uh, my new gaming rig here, uh, which. I don't know, depending on how this game's optimized, may or may not still have this issue. Man, it's like a slideshow. I'm pretty sure this is not just because I'm recording. Because, like I said, it, it's more pronounced when I'm recording, but um, it still does it when I'm, when I'm not, so I don't know. Um, I think I'll go straight and make a left up here at the next intersection. I would love to live in this town. I don't know. It just seems like so clean and quaint and modern. Did I say quaint? I never use that word. So dainty. <laughs> Ooh, this is a cool view. It's very loud. See? Frame rate is perfect there. Not so much there. And there. Now it's like silky smooth. Somebody made a silky smooth joke the other day and it made me lol. <laughs> I was like, really? It's that smooth. <laughs> now I have no fingernails. <coughs> um... <laughs> That person's probably like, meh, laughing at me right now. If they're actually watching this. Dun, dun, dun. All right, come on, come on. All right, so let's jump out and uh, jump in again. <laughs> and we'll get on the crane. All right, cool. 
I hope that I'm close enough to get this on here. Oh gosh, no. I th should be. So we got to put this stuff up on top of there. Uh, this is where the circle is really going to help. Oh. I just want to... I just want to get maximum length here. There we are. Oh. No. <laughs> Fingers do what I want you to do. Okay. All right. Now we get the big log. Oh, right on it. See, I'm getting used to it. All right. I think this I'm going to actually... Let's see if I can zoom out a bit here. I'm going to... Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it that way. i do this way. No, a little bit more. No, <laughs> not that more. There. All right. And move over there. And see, I would normally have a you know a guy, you know, a helper or a girl, and you know, who knows, uh, up here on top guiding me. But I don't. And okay. So, bam, chicka, bam, bam. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and we'll swift, uh, swift travel back to the materials dealer. And we'll pick up the last bit. Uh, and we might even get done before the month is over. I don't think so. Like, I'd be shocked if I actually did. But, uh, but we'll see. Put the gates down. Oh, and uh, 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 okay, large front roofing tiles. Wait, is that right? We need three big roof tiles, two large bricks. Yes. All right, man, ten grand. Boo hoo! There goes our. Man, that's we got a lot less money than I thought. I keep forgetting that we have to take that money and actually buy stuff with it. So the profit's not quite, you know, the you know what you're expecting all the time. Okay, got to be careful here again. No, go the other way. Okay, cargo fastened. All right. <laughs> this uh, this forklift sounds so funny. It's like wee -oo, wee. -oo.
Okay. Let's do this again. Bam, bam. See, why are the why these crates are doing fine? The other ones wobble all over like a I don't know something that wobbles. That's for sure. Three more to go. Okay. Okay, two more to go. I feel like I'm on a slight grade here, like a slope. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, I'm going to drive this one around to the other side. feeling that that this uh, pallet right here is not all the way on so I'm going to push it over just a tad there we go alright feeling better about that got the last one to go and we will be able to <clears throat> Uh, get the equipment over to the, uh, or not the equipment, but the materials over to the build site and get our money. All right. I feel like I'm, you know, Inside rub uh, cellophane, somebody's got me all wrapped up. Ooh, that's kind of special. Okay. All right. And done. Awesome. All right. Let's go bonk. Wrap that up. All right. Let's get over and get this sucker done. I feel like this is taking forever. I, some of these jobs do take a really long time. Um, there is a there's an excavator mission where I think I might have mentioned this before, where you have to dig an entire basement for a house. Now, one of the things that uh, was supposedly fixed or at least updated was the uh, you know the way the excavator works, or I don't know something about it was updated. So I don't know, it could have been improved, I'll have to try it out, but no joke, it took me four hours. No joke, I'm not exaggerating slight in the slightest, four hours to, d <laughs> to dig out a basement of this house in this game. Four hours. Oh gosh, oh that was close. I'm like the most dangerous contractor on earth. Okay. 
Okay. I think we'll be pretty good right about here. Yeah. Alright, nope, go that way, yeah, there we go. I, you know, I'm, I'm actually fairly impressed with how, you know, how far this, um, this boom arm can go. That's pretty darn cool. this way. There we go. It's kind of a li I mean, the, the circle definitely helps, but it's still kind of difficult to figure out exactly, you know, where you are. Okay. Ah. Uh. <sighs> I'm like holding my breath doing this. <clears throat> oh my gosh. One more and we will get the job done. All right, guys, here goes. Clear the Okay, clear the construction site. Bam, bam, and... I think I have to drive out onto the road. Yeah! Oh my gosh. That almost... <laughs> Ooh, finish 10 project compl projects completely on your own. Oh gosh. Okay, so we earned a total of 75,000. So we, there must have been something for hiring the worker. 2,400 experience... We got 343,000, and we got done before the end of the month. How about that? That's pretty good. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's reset this back. But I want to, yes, I know, 33,000. Yay. Oh, and there our uh, rent and everything came out. Vehicle expenses. So now we are at up. Oh, there we go. Twenty six thousand three hundred. So it actually behooves you not to have too many useless vehicles that you end up not using. 
Um, right now, though, we are... Let's see, we can do this transport thing. We're going to accept this contract. Since we've got a hired worker, I'm just going to have him do that. Uh, so let's go to jobs, active jobs, container transport. Uh, um, the heck? Active do jobs, yes. Container transport. Oh, here we go. What the heck? That was weird. What's going on here? All right. Gonna try to hire a worker. Yes. All right. In the meantime, though, I want to go to the vehicle dealer. It's gonna cost me seventeen dollars to go over here. And let's see here. So we've got. See, we can buy a roller. The rollers aren't too. Uh, what's funny is like the small excavator and the roller are the same price. Uh, let's go ahead and buy a roller. Yes. $90,000. Um, let's see. Now we the roller will be right over here. <gasps> oh, no. I just realized. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Look at this bad boy. Now... <laughs> Speaking of boys, we should actually have a low boy to train us how to to do this, you know, or not to train us, but to transport this. I was thinking of actually doing the training mission, which will probably be right here. Oh, special job! Oh yeah, here, the stadium. We we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get that job. Um, all right, let's do the the training tutorial for the roller though. And then we're not going to do, we're going to start on the stadium job in the next mission. Hello, Brandon73, you seem to be interested in the roller. Yes, it looks like you have already been, okay. So they've got a training course set up for us. Get into the roller. I'm already in the roller. Okay, I'm in the roller. Okay. Activate the vibration. Mm. I bet this job's popular with the ladies. Oh, yeah. Wait. All right. X. Okay. Compression on. So basically, I guess what this thing does is inside, it kind of has like a, probably like a hydraulic vibration thingy that, um, you know, tries to compact the dirt. And uh, we can just kind of go crazy in here. Uh, I don't want to go too crazy, though. Um, I want to have some order to our madness. Uh, we don't want to hit the uh, the barrels, though. I think that was part of the training scenarios. We don't want to hit the barrels. So... Now, if you don't... Uh, compact the grat, you know, like if you turn X off, you turn the compression off, doesn't really do anything. I'm just trying to get in, get this little bit there done, done there. Okay, there we go. And all right, so turn the compression off, and again, it doesn't really do anything to the grass. Um, this vehicle is a bit more difficult to drive. Uh, if you guys uh, play Farming Simulator, uh, you'll, you, you may or may not already know of my hatred for articulated <laughs> vehicles. Now, I'm sure in the real world, um, it's, they're, maybe they're a pleasure, an absolute pleasure to drive, not so much in the simulated world. And maybe they're a pain in the butt in the real world. I don't know. I've never driven one. Okay, and turn on the vibration. 
Uh oh. So apparently we have to do this to like, I've never done the stadium mission. I, I saw it and I'm like, I'm gonna try to buy it on here for you guys because I want to. I want you know I wanted to show you guys how this roller works, which is pretty darn cool. Um, and uh, so anyway, I saw that I saw that mission in my other profile, but I didn't do it. So I don't know. I'm gonna do it fresh with you guys and um, and we're gonna see you know we're gonna see what it does together so you'll get my first reaction on that one okay oh I missed a spot back there. Okay. Should might might get this done here pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know if we have to do a hundred. I can't remember. I've done this before, but I can't remember uh, if we have to like literally complete every last bit of it. Looks like we might have to come pretty darn close. Hello. Wrong way. Okay. See, it's showing we have, like, you know, pretty much, that was pretty good. Now drive the vehicle off the site so I can clean up. Aww. I wanted to do the last little bit. I was having fun. I can do the last little bit, I guess. Yay! Oh yeah. All right. All right, that's good enough, I think. So we'll turn the compressor off. And we'll see we'll see what he does when he cleans up. Clean it up. What do you say? That's pretty good, don't you think? Not bad at all. But always remember to drive very carefully with the roller and don't drive it on public roads. To transport the roller, you should use the low boy. Okay, I understand. Of course, I don't have a low boy, and so we're going to probably have to transport this guy around a little bit. Um, so we'll do that in the next mission. And again, we'll come back, and uh, I can just accept the job right now so we can see. Oh, actually, I don't even need to set Okay, so we need to transport eight square meters of earth from the gravel plant to the marked area of the construction site. Unload them there. <clears throat> Compress the marked area on the construction site. Four turf from the nursery. Two drain pipes. Compress more marked area. Four turf from the nursery. Two drain, drain pipes. Uh, more earth. Oh my gosh, this is, looks kind of repetitive. Press the turf, turf and drain pipes, and then talk to the foreman and get our money. Maybe. <laughs> so I'm gonna, we're going to try to do that in the next episode, uh, depending on how long it takes. And uh, so, you know, stay tuned, and um, we'll see you back for more Construction Simulator 2015. Um, I am Brett M73. As always, please don't forget to hit that like and share button. It helps my channel out tremendously. And uh, don't forget to comment. Let me know uh, what you think of the game, or me, or, you know, 
life, your girlfriend, whatever. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we'll be back for more. See you next time, guys. Bye for now.